Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to make an item ESP. So this won't be like too complicated and you could probably quite easily change it to an player ESP or something else. So yeah, let's just get right into it. My soul is tormented by a sucky bitch. Call a sis, pencil dripping from the way I spit. Fell in love with So, yeah, now I'm um, just going to create a function for adding the UI. So, let's just take a look how the game is structured and like how this stuff, like where the stuff is and stuff. I'm going to make it for the dropped items slash the items on the ground. Which should be quite straightforward. So islands, this is uh, an island or well, a model. So this always has the player name and then dash island. Then here is all the drops, and you can see that it has amount. This is just amount that is dropped. And then display name. This is like the better name instead of naming it like. Oh shit! Uh, what did I do now? Instead of naming it like yeah, coal without, wait, I can drop something or like that. Okay, instead of naming it iron pickaxe like that, because it looks kind of weird, you can name it this instead. Because like yeah, I'm going to also have an like so you can see the name. This is quite cool. Okay. But let's just create an like basic UI. So let's just do local GUI equals inst. Let's just do pot GUI actually because we will need two of these. Build port GUI, comma port. The port will probably be this because this is the actual port slash model that you see. It's like one stud by one stud, I think. Yeah, a little less. But yeah, so let's just do gui.size equals uri2. New one, come on. Yeah, that's basically like the exact size of the parent. And then gui.always on top equals. Oh, yeah, sorry. I already did, it. did this tutorial, but like my mic wasn't. Uh, like I was recording another mic or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and I named it GUI in that video, so that's why I'm typing GUI all the time. ESP. And uh, that's just going to be the name. Actually, we can name this item ESP. Uh, so then we will need a frame instance the new frame comma part GUI frame dot background color free equals color free dot from RGB. I'm just going to use a right light red a frame dot background tr transparency equals 0 0.75 and then like frame dot size equals UD2 dot new mm, frame dot what more could we do? We don't oh yeah border border size pixel equals zero uh, that should be it for the frame so now let's create the uh, name GUI. let's just create the GUI for the name so why we can't do this inside of here is because we need it offset and a different size and it's obviously possible but it's a little annoying and it's just easier to do it this way we put GUI my part name GUI dot size equal size equals you did two dot new and then this is basically just the same thing as the last one true and name GUI dot name equals name GUI has yes. now let's just do name Okay, so now let's create a text label. Text equals instant w. Text label, comma name GUI. Text dot text equals. So because we are going to have this part slash the thing that we get inputted, 
to be this we would need to do script.parent.displayName.value script no not script i meant part dot parent dot uh, display name dot value text dot uh, text color free equals color free dot from rdb i'm going to do the same color we can make this a bit like transparent transparency equals 0 0.25 text dot like background transparency equals one Oh yeah, we need to change some stuff here. So I'm just going to do 3 comma 1.5 and then name GUI dot size offset equals vector 2 dot new 0 comma 1. This will be a bit above the head because this first UI is, uh, I would guess it's X and C because this is 2D, you know, X, C. No, actually I think it's X, Y. Yeah shit xy i think but like this one is up slash down if you do minus and this one is to the side to the right if you don't do minus but to the left if you do minus so that will be above the uh, item around here if i would do it on my head for example so then let's do text.text .text scale equals true Text of size equals student to not new. Text dot font equals even dot font. If you know me, then you know that I love Gotham semi bold because it's it's like it. Okay, that should work. We don't really need anything more, I think. Uh, I feel like I have forgot this. Yeah, we can just do name. Name equals text there so now let's actually get all the items and put the things inside pairs get children so it's recommended that you do uh, this instead of like i or like index or because this can store slash yeah it can store more items slash you can use more items of it so then this new game of players dot local player dot player id no use right so don't do plus or comma because you plus accepts numbers this isn't a number oh well this could be turned into a number because it's obviously number but in a string form and this is a string which would error the script comma it doesn't work with like getting it from my value you would have to do one comma two like that and yeah dot 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 just adds it or well dot dot uh, so yeah now let's do if we find first shot yeah it's v um handle disabled is not equal to nail then then add ui v dot and on the save board. That's great. Uh, but right now it will only add the current item. So if they like if you drop an item that won't be shown. So let's just fix that real quick. Uh, let's do the dot players dot local player dot user ID. Great. Um yeah dot uh, child added I think it is uh yeah i think it is yeah i'm quite sure otherwise we will just have to fix it so i'm just going to do function v because it then i can just copy this oh, well we don't really need that but we need to do a uh, wait for child instead because this gets executed right as the item, item gets added and the chances of like the stuff already being in there is slim to none slash basically zero so that wouldn't be that great so now let's try and execute it and it should have worked but it obviously didn't uh 20 some error now uh, 
Oh, but I meant plant for transparency. Yeah, you can see that there is like, it's not transparent because there's a lot of stuff up there right now. You can see that it works and you can see it through the walls and stuff like that. It's not really useful for this game because like, you can see the items quite easily, but it's just an example. So yeah, if you want more tutorials then please like and please subscribe and join my discord. The discord link is in the description, I will host a big giveaway there at 500 subscribers, so I also recommend subscribing. And yeah, that's all for me today. This video was requested by a user, he didn't request the game, he just said item is P. So yeah, if you want to request uh, another script, or well, if you want to request a script, then just either add me on Discord, type it in, send it in the Discord server, or send it in the comments. So yeah, bye guys.